Hi, David Coder with Decoder Marketing here. Hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's Eve and hope that everybody has a successful New Year. I'm going to take five minutes here. I want to share with you um, in this video one thing that's going to piss off your customers in 2018. I'll uh, show you how you can correct it and move forward throughout the, the new year here. Uh, with no with no upset customers, uh, new and existing. Uh, we have compiled a list of 10 other uh, elements that could potentially piss off your customers in 2018 on our blog. If you just visit the comment section, you can click on that, jump over to our blog, uh, read the other things and see if there's anything else there that you could uh, potentially be missing uh, that you could simply correct and uh, update for 2018. Uh, so that way we're not irritating any new or existing customers. Now, for those of you that gotten this far and you don't know what Google listings or the, the Bing listings are and you're more of a consumer, uh, just hang tight for a second. I would like your involvement. If you can just click on the, the like uh, for this video to let me know if you've basically experienced uh, this situation in 2017 with any business, it would be very helpful. Uh, but what it is, is, you know, people talk about claiming your Google My Business listing, your Bing Places listing, and once it's taken care of, uh, you're going to you're gonna instantly show up and, uh, you know, it's going to improve your SEO, right? But at the end of the day, we forget some of the important steps uh, that are involved with these listings, and we kind of, we become blind to it, and we don't even, we don't even pay attention to it. What ends up happening is, is that when you have holidays um, like Christmas Day, New Year's Day, uh, you know, that fall on a Monday, in your traditional hours of operation that you're open Monday from, you know, a.m. to p.m., you know, you're just assuming that, okay, you know, nobody, cel nobody else celebrates these holidays, you know, no one's going to bother me, but in reality, that's not the case. Um, you know, a lot of times people rely on these these hours when they do a a branded search you know if they know your business they just want to see if you're open or if it's a new customer they're just using keywords and they happen to find your business uh i'm going to show you basically how we can update these special hours in this video um you know so let's let's jump in this real quick i don't want to take too much of your time i know we have a lot of goals set forth you know you know for 2018 uh, but this is one thing I really think that you could just take the five minutes, uh, update it, correct it now, and you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. Uh, so what we'll do is, is I'm going to show you here, you know, what it looks like on, um, you know, from a, a the, from the perspective of a customer who already knows who you are. They're just, you know, thinking of, you know, hey, I need to grab something. It's a little last minute. All right. So doing the search, um, obviously under hours, we update our listing. Uh, we're closed New Year's Day. So if this isn't updated at all, and it would show our normal hours from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., up here Google would just let you know that, you know, the holiday may reflect these hours. They may differ. Okay. So from a perspective of a new customer, who doesn't know your business and maybe they're just you know they're hungry right so they just type in you know looking for restaurants and they find these restaurants right here these two companies are using um, the special hours feature and they're updating them to reflect the holidays okay they're closed this one here opened up at 11 a.m. using uh, this customer is using their their traditional hours of operation so there's a chance that this company could be closed if you happen to drive there and show up on their doorstep. They may be closed. Now I could be long. I didn't do my homework. I'm just using this as an example here. Uh, but you will notif you will see that they notify you that New Year's Day might affect these hours. Okay. So, you know, to kind of look at it from a different uh, angle, knowing that, okay, New Year's Day, Christmas Day, okay, we can assume. Maybe they're they're closed, and also maybe they're open. But let's think about Veterans Day, right? Um, you know, we don't we don't necessarily think that a business would be closed on Veterans Day, but some are. So this is why it's really critical 
for you to keep these special hours up to date. Do it one time for the whole year. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so what you need to do is, is you're gonna have to jump into your Google My Business listing. Once you're inside your Google My Business listing, uh, and if, if you don't know what this is, you know you have it or someone claimed it, you find the individual, you find the agency or the company that claimed your Google My Business listing and see that you get owner admin access so that way you can get the notifications uh, from these companies like Google and Bing. They'll send you notifications that say, hey, upcoming holidays, um, do your traditional hours uh, reflect these holidays uh, with some changes? So what you need to do then at that point is uh, once you have access, you simply sign in. This is the screen that you're given. This is what you can, you can go into and update. Uh, here's your traditional hours and then add special hours. When you click on add special hours, this already gives you holidays that are up and coming. Okay. If for the most part you're open all year, then there's really not much you need to do here. But if you close different times of the year, it's going to be important that you update this. So let's just say, for example, Martin Luther King Day, um, we go in here and we're only open for half the day, right? So we can re make this change. Change it to 12, President's Day, mark as we're closed. If we need to add any other dates, it doesn't necessarily have to be a holiday, but if it's vacation, you take your company uh, employees on, a, on an outing and nobody's there to answer the door or answer the phone, um, you, you can make this change right here and say, listen, we have you know, a company outing where nobody's in the office. You know? So you can just select a random day and say, listen, we're closed this day. So that way it's automated. You don't even have to worry about it. Uh, at this point, people then can go to your website and fill out a submission form or maybe chat, you know, if you have support set up for chat. Uh, there's there's a, that next step that you can take that consumer as opposed to just relying on the listing uh, to do everything for you. So from here, you can just simply click on apply. These changings will go into pending and will automatically be published uh, you know, to the search engine. In this case, we're just using an example. Um, we've never verified this listing. Uh, this is just for us to kind of play around with. Um, but it'll be in orange. It'll you know, have a line through it just saying you know, pending changes. Uh, so once they're, they're cleared, they'll automatically get published. You're going to do the same over in Bing Places. And it's basically the same layout. You're going to go in, add special hours. Okay, it's going to automatically go through. And once you get to this point, you can see our traditional hours that were closed Saturday and Sunday. And then we can check box, yes, we want to provide special days. Okay, if we know that we're only closed, you know, uh, New Year's Day, we can go all the way to the 1st of 2019, check box it, and we're closed. Now, if you happen to have other days, you know, before that time, you can also make those changes here and just say, uh, we closed for July 4th. Okay, or if we know, you know, our employees have half a day, we can toggle switch this over and just say 9 a.m. 12 p.m. From that point, all you have to do is hit submit. Okay, once you hit submit, it goes through the same process. Okay, and um, we have everything taken care of. So I just basically wanted to step you through this because I saw a lot of businesses in 2017. Uh, for the most part, Thanksgiving's always on the same day. But now with Black Friday leaking into Thanksgiving, uh, it's really just hard to assume whether a business is, is open or closed. We don't know anymore. So a lot of times when people will do a search, they'll, they still will assume that, okay, you're open. They're going to go. Well, if they go to your business and you're closed when your listing says you're open, that's frustration you're building with the customer. Uh, some customers may actually leave an angry review for that. And unfortunately, Google or Bing's not going to remove that <laughs> from your ranking, you know, from your star ranking. So just take, take five minutes, update it. If you have any questions, just comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, uh, 
please subscribe to our channel because we're going to be going through a lot more in 2018 here with very short tutorials, little things that we, um, we become blind to because we're so focused on everything else that we forget the little things that matter a lot. Uh, there's a big focus with, you know, um, voice search, you know, that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk more about, you know, the chat features through Google My Business. Um, we're going to talk more about postings, how that reflects from your Google My Business account. You can do a posting that will automatically show up uh, when someone does a search for your business. Uh, and that has a lot of credibility if you're trying to push a promotion or there's a deeper page on your site that you're trying to get more traffic to. We're going to show all this uh, in 2018 with much more uh, detail. Uh, so just, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd greatly appreciate it uh, if you like this video. Um, but for the most part, I hope you have, again, I said it before, I hope you have a successful new year. Thank you again for watching. Uh, Talk to you soon.